Emeka. Eh? I've told you, don't you relate in this living room again. And you did it now. That's how your brother Chibuzo was doing and became useless. Chibuzo, why are you harassing my little boy? Welcome, darling. Can you imagine, Emeka? You're relating in this living room again. Eh? He did it the other time. I told him not to do it again. He's done it again. That's why I'm beating him, so he won't try it again. That's why you are a mother. We all did the same thing at their age. And we were beaten by our mothers. Eh? So raise him in the best family tradition possible. I appreciate it. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, you mean... You now know that I have the right to bring up my children the way that I want? Yes. You see, mm -hmm. formerly, it was just me, you, and our only son, Chibuzo. Now it's me, you, and them. So it's your responsibility, and I will appreciate it if they are properly raised, and I think you can do that. But please do me one little favor. Don't touch my little girl, hmm. please. Hmm. There you go again. <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> oh yeah, upstairs. Come on, come on, go. Let's go to the dining room. Come on, come on. Fine. And how are you? Fine. The only problem is there is no domestic work to be done these days. That leaves me just a little time to play. Good. Don't you know that much work and little play makes Jack a smart boy? Now, um, there's no point asking after Chibuza because I know he won't be home. Where's your sister? She's sleeping. Mom, there's something I want to tell you. What is it? Come on, sit down. Now, so what is it? I want to tell you. Mom, why did you bring me out of this world to suffer like this? Why did you say that? Chibuza and Angela do nothing. You make me wash it with heaps of clothes and iron them. Sweep this compound every morning before going to school. You don't even give me pocket money. Any small mistake, you flog me like hell. I'll run away one day. I, I won't continue like this. Why Chibuza and Angela does nothing? See, Auntie does nothing. She also makes me boil rice and yam at the kitchen, as small as I am. This is punishment and not training. Amy, you're still too young to understand the good things that I and your auntie are teaching you. Hmm? Kids your age, they want to be free, to have all the freedom to do whatever they want, play as much as they want. But remember, the Bible says the way to paradise is narrow, filled with twists and turns. But the way to hell is wide and easy to follow. Tell me, how many of you are in this house? I mean, you kids. There are three. I, Chibos and Angela. Do I treat the others differently from the way I treat you? Mm, yes. You don't flog Chibos or Angela for not remembering to wash those toilets. But when it's my own turn, you punish me with ten lashes. Amy, I am training you, bringing you up the way that you should go. So that when you grow up, you will not depart from it. That is how the Bible says that parents should bring up children. It's because I love you. Hmm? Now, do you think mommy hates you or mommy loves you? Mommy loves me. Chibuzo, that was what happened. That was exactly what happened. 
Even though your father did not hate you, instead, he showed you excessive love. Your father spent the rod and spoiled the child. He did not know that children are just like the planted yam stem. If you don't guide them well, they will become bent and it will be so difficult to straighten them easily. <laughs> Okay, mom, how will you explain Angela and her way of life? It's the same thing. Your father overpampered her as his only daughter. The same way he overpampered you as his only son. Please, my son. Please, Jibuzo. You can still change. You can still make your life better. It's only your hands, Chibuzo. Please, my son. Please, Chibuzo, please. It's okay, mom. It's okay. <laughs> Is anything wrong with that? How can you say that? Emeka, go ahead. 
Tell her what I said. Um, is it true that you handed over your business and properties to a maker? Yes. So what's wrong with that? He's the only responsible son I have. He's obedient, dutiful. He's cautious of his responsibilities to the family, so naturally he's the sole heir to all my fortunes. Yeah. Oh, yes. What are you trying to do? Like what? Oh, are you trying to cause trouble between both of them? No. Oh, do you realize that if you hand over all that you have to a maker, what will become of Chibuzo, your first son, his elder brother? I do not have a son by the name Chibuzo, or perhaps I'll put it this way. I no longer have a son by the name Chibuzo. That's only a long time ago. Chibuzo is a rainy day to me. Chibuzo specializes in causing me nothing but indignity. The source of shame and scandal to our family. So I decided to eliminate that source of discomfort. He's not here anymore. Emeka is my son. And he takes over every single thing I have. I want to do you see how many sons you have? Hey, well, you see how many sons you have when I finish with you today? You shameless man, I'm not ashamed. After destroying my life and my future, you want to disinherit me and disown me. Look, we're going to end it all today, here and now. Emeka, Emeka, give me that gun now. Emeka, look, give me that gun. Do you know give me that gun? Emeka, you're pointing it. Don't stand on this. Do you know give me that me. No, 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 man, go ahead off. Hey, it's a new now. New job before I can't do. Two. One. Look at that. One and a half. You see, yo. Oh, my God. You're not ashamed of yourself. You want to kill your father. A man that gave you everything. We all know how to be responsible. You know that we keep our instincts in check. You are all set up. Now you want to kill him. The man who gave you the best education. Feed you. Chibuzo. You think you know what you're doing, right? You have the guts to point gun. But her father. Chibuzo. I'm disappointed. I am sorry because you don't know what you're doing. You've done it before. And nobody told you. And you fear that you can do it again. If you try it again, let today be first and last. You will try such thing. Chibuzo, why are you doing this? Why did you make evil? Why, Chibuzo, why? You are the first one. Why are you doing this to me? Why? You want to kill our dad, right? Kill him. Have to go. She was a kill him. Kill him. Take this gun from him. Kill him. Kill him. It's a prompt, right? father will not solve the problem, my son. Brother, it will worsen it. 
What kind of solution? What kind of solution are we going to look for now? Just, just look at me. I'm useless to everybody. I'm useless to myself. My life is upside down. Look, I can't think. I can't reason because I don't know anything. Now, now he has gone and, gone and disinherited me and given everything to Emeka. Emeka is my younger brother. Okay. Look, look at Angela. If she continues like that, do you think any man will marry her? I can now see that you have started reasoning well, and I thank God for that. But may I suggest a solution? What? Please, my son, don't be annoyed if I say this thing that I want to say. What if I send for my brother Mentus to come and take you to go and learn trade in his shop in Aba? For you to change environment. Do you realize what you're saying, Mama? You want me to go and do boy boy? Me, Chibuzo, I should go and do boy boy? Oh, no, Mama, I can't do that. I can't. Chibuzo. Chibuzo. please. I am begging you, Chibuzo. Chibuzo, please do this thing for me and for yourself. If you do this thing that I've asked you to do, you will become a changed man automatically. Don't forget, my brother Matthews is a born again Christian. He will draw you closer to God. Please, Chibuzo. Please, I am begging you. Chibuzo, please. Chibuzo, please. I want it to be better for you in life. I can't be watching you like this, Chibuzo. <laughs> Chibuzo, please. Please, for my sake. Chibuzo. No, I beg I want to sleep over it. It's all right. But please, think about it. Please. Please, for your life. Please. I will see you in the morning. I think I've made up my mind. I think I need a change of environment. Oh, mm. maybe you should send for Uncle Mentus. Thank you, my son. Thank you. I will send for my brother Mentus immediately. So don't make it a habit. <laughs> uh -huh. Once again, Chibuzo, you're welcome. <laughs> I believe you still remember my wife. Again. This is my beautiful daughter, Cynthia. And that's my son there, Chijoki. Chibuzo, 
we are good Christians. And it is a rule in this house that every night before you go to bed, you kneel down and thank God to have seen you through the day's activity. And first thing in the morning, you kneel down and thank Papa God to have seen the new day and hand over to him the day's activity. Every Wednesday, every member of this family go to Bible studies. Every Sunday, it is a must that we all attend service. I know what I'm saying. If you make God the first thing in your life, he will protect you. He will guide you. And most importantly, allow his will to be done in your life. It will surely change you. I don't know if you have any objection to what I've just said. Thank you very much, Uncle. I've heard everything that you said. In fact, my mother had already told me these things before we left. I, I just want to say that I promise that I'll abide by all the regulations. Thank you. So that I don't know if you have anything to add. No, darling. You've said it all. And Jibuzo, God never fails. Hmm? Just have faith in Him. You're welcome. Thank you, Aunt. It's time for food. Oh. Shall we? Come on, kids. Chibuzo. Well done, eh? Thank you. Thank you. I will be inside. All right, your son left this house and you have no bother to ask after his whereabouts. Mm -hmm. No. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about your first son, Chibuza. I have no son by that time. My son is a maker and I'm living with him. Oh, that is too much. It is too much. Can you just deny your first son just like that? Oma, let me tell you. Chibuzo is still your first son, whether you like it or not. You cannot wish him away. Oma, what I know is that one day, one day very soon, you'll regret all these things that you are doing to Chibuzo. You see?
Very much. How is everything what you are doing? We thank God. Your family. We are alive. <sighs> hey. Because the life glory to his name. Come and sit down. Thank you very Hi. much. <sighs> hey. So, how is the family and chief? Well, for his well. What about oh, Angela? Well. I hope she has changed. Changed? She's even worse. Please, Brother Mentus, please, let's not talk about her. These children will not kill me. Let's talk about more important things, please. What about my son, Chibuza? Oh, <laughs> sister, you will not believe this. Chibuza is a changed person now. God has transformed him. He is now a born-again Christian. Brother Mentus, what did you say? So Chibuzo is now a born again Christian. <laughs> oh God, God, I can't believe this. God, my God, I thank you. I give you all the glory. Hallelujah. I will give you all the praise. I will give you all the honor. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. Mommy, what is going on here? Why do people want to turn this place into a church now? Please, I need my rest. You're welcome. Angela. Where are you coming from with this type of dressing? I went to see my friends. I went to hang out with my homies. Angela, you went to see your friends with this type of dress? Uncle, what is wrong with my dressing? Oh, don't you like it? I'm looking wonderful, you know. This is how big girls of nowadays dress. Uncle, I am a big girl. Catch you. Will you come back here, my friend? Uncle, cool down now. Ah, cool down, cool down. Cool down for Jesus. Did I hear you say Jesus? Whatever. Jesus. Whatever. Good. I have a letter for you. From Chibuzo. Chibuzo! Sister Angela, I want to ask a favor of you, uh, and I want you to please do this thing for me, for yourself, and for the family. Forget the life that you live and accept Christ into your life. These things will only lead you to destruction. Remember that you are a woman, and one day you will get married and have children of your own. If you continue living like this, what kind of training do you expect to give to your children? By the special grace of God, I am now born again. And I know that if you turn to Him, God is willing to receive you. Think about it. God bless you. Your brother, she will come to get us for Jack.
How do I go about begging my parents? God of mercy and compassion, look in pity upon me. Good evening, sir. God's blessings. Uh -huh. Good evening. Where, where are you coming from? Yeah, I'm coming back from fellowship. Fellowship? Yes, sir. All right. Welcome. Thank you, sir. You've been long enough with us, and I believe it is time you be on your own. Since you came into this house, things have been moving on well with us. My business has been flourishing. And I would not say because of that, deny you the pleasure of being your own master. You know the shop I bought last week? And the goods inside it is for you. And the house I finished last month. I am not giving you the house, but you can live in the house until you'll be able to make enough money to build your own because I know God will make it possible for you. And uh, in addition, I mean, give me that check. This is a check of three million naira. Use it to rearrange yourself. Take it, it's for you, take it. It's okay, Chibolo, take it. Stand up, stand up. Thank you, so stand, stand up, stand up. 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 Stand You know it's been long you saw your parents last. I would like you to visit home. At least let them know that you are now on your own. Um, uh, Uncle, I don't think I want to go there yet. Uh, I would like to uh, invest this money and then concentrate and establish my business first. But it's okay. That's interesting. If you say so. Mm. Okay, you relax, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Father, for bringing your super to bear upon my natural. Father, thank you for this family that you have used, Father, Lord God, that you will pull up out of the abundance of your blessings that you shower upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you do, I was just walking past. I thought I should look at it. 
problem. That you had the problem. I am the stronger. Yes. <laughs> All right. So what have I done wrong? That how can you say you handed everything over to me? You are going about collecting the house rent. Since you've given everything to me, then you should keep your hands from everything. Oh, I see. Is that all? When you come home, we'll talk it over. That's a simple matter. No, Daddy. Let's talk about it now. And when the order has come away, you'll be here for only a few months and you've developed the lust for dismembering the entire company. What is wrong with you? If you want to burn up this entire place, why don't you be a little bit more patient so I can die and then you can tear the entire place to pieces? What am I doing here? What will I be doing before you die? D -d 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 Tell me! I mean, I have nothing to offer! I mean... And the God has come over you. What has come over you? Are you mad? I'm sorry, Dad. say that for your father oh come on still have some money left in my account so go and bring me my bag let me write you a check go and collect the money and give to the doctor and that money is too much let me get me my bag Why would 
this woman not allow this man to die so that I can own his property? Must I go to this bank? If I do not go, there will be no money to treat him. And he will die. He will die. Or do I kill him? This is certainly a monumental piece of architectural excellence. Son, congratulations. Thank you, Dad. Um, how long did it take you to uh, put all this together? Uh, three months. 
Three months. Three months? Incredible. And, um... Oh, Chikuzo, I'm proud of you. How did you make the money? Hard work, Dad. It runs in the family. Yes, it runs in the family. You can say it again. <laughs> Chibuzo, you certainly have made me proud. You know, all this from a son I already gave up on. Now I know why the Bible says that uh, with God, all things are possible. This is certainly a case of the rejected stone. Now as the cornerstone. Son? This is an external view. It tempts the imagination a lot. For those who can visualize, what's it going to be like inside? By the way, why visualize? Come on, let's go and see. With our pleasure, man. Come in. <laughs> I'm so glad that once again we are together as a family. I thank God for sparing my life. I never knew I would live to see the day when we would come together again as one family. I look at my son Chibuzo and I remember his wild days, his gun toting days when he threatened to terminate my life but uh, today is in one piece. <laughs> serving God yes, my daughter Angela uh, once upon a time she was always very scantily clad looking generally skimpy today she's well turned out and composed waiting for suitors to come <laughs> that's the work of the almighty God and uh, my son Emeka was a pillar in the house at a time then suddenly he underwent some kind of transformation I couldn't understand. But let's just say that uh, we make mistakes once in a while. I think I would blame that on peer group influence. But I forgive him entirely. I mean, he's my son. He will remain my son. You, my wife, and mother to my children, you have remained a constant source of inspiration. A fountain of inspiration, assistance, what have you. I thank God for giving you to me. Chibuzo, come here. Sit down. Um, these are files with which I run the affairs of my companies on a daily basis. This one contains the names of all the companies and industries I have. All our records are available here. Hmm? All this. There are lands I bought I have not developed. They are not developed yet, but I have all the certificates of occupancy. And all the land deeds. You find them here. This file here contains details of unfinished transactions. All the names of our creditors are available here. At your spare time, go through all of them so you know who owes what to our companies. Yeah. I'll tell you why I am showing you all this. Um, I am convinced within myself that I am no longer strong enough to run these companies on a daily basis. And uh, you, my son, my first son, according to the demands of our tradition and culture, must certainly one day take over from me. And I want you to start learning how to take over now. Huh? Um, this is your brother, Emeka. He is the only brother that you have. So the decisions you take in the family on a daily basis must reflect his own contribution. Now, this is your sister, Angela. Angela, we pray, will go and make a home somewhere. A good man must take her away. Dad, 
don't you think you've been unfair to me? How can you hand everything over to Chibuzo? What about me? What about me? I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be part of this. Omega. Omega. Okay, look, I'm not trying to take over everything that daddy owns, okay? Look, you still run the businesses. I merely overlook them. And of course, I would not do that without your input and Angela's. Remember, I have my own businesses to run too. Huh? You have nothing to fear. Oh, come on. Remember when I used to live a reckless life? It was you who brought me back to my senses. You showed me the other end of the gun. Hmm? Look, together we can live as one big, peaceful, happy family. Alright? Still run the business, nothing changes. Oh, come on, chair up. Come on, sit down. This is one day that calls for celebration in the family. Uh, if I can wipe that frown off your face. Come on. Come here. Come here. Give me your hand. Let's look like the American. <laughs> Come here. Come here. That's right. Cheat out. And uh, Angie B. This is what I call one big happy family. And um, I thank God for today. Lord, it is my sincere prayer that this family remain together always and make this plea in your mighty name, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen.